What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Demos Diecast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope everybody out there had a great weekend uh, and whatever you were out doing, hunting, customs, hanging out with family, toy shows, whatever it may be. Uh, shout out to all of the returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you guys for tuning in, coming back, and welcome to all of our first time viewers and new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. So today, as you can see in the back here, we have a few cars from some different JDM tuners. Uh, we have Advan and some HKS back here. So that is going to lead us into our video today, which is the new Gretti box set. Uh, this is a, well, at least in the United States, this is a Walmart exclusive. Um, so yeah, new, um, all uh, Gretti branded. This company is also known as Trust in Japan, uh, but this comes with the Gretti Datsun 240Z, the Nissan Maxima Drift Wagon in the back there, the Pandem Subaru BRZ here in the front, and the Fleet Street Transporter there in the back. So, um, yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's tear this open and take a closer look. So there it is out of the box. They do have a pretty cool diorama for this one. So you have like a drift track here. So you can see them coming around the turn. Got your smoke coming out from drifting. Got your stands in the background, some palm trees. Um, super, super cool diorama. Really love this one. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, keep your diorama box sets and put other cars in them just to kind of show them off, but I have a couple that we'll show at the end of the video here today of uh, some customs that I've done with uh, old box sets that I've used or taken the cars out of. So uh, let's cut these guys loose and take a closer look. So after you get the tape off of the bottom of these, they have these uh, elastic bands that hold each car in. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some cutters, get these cut off, and... We should be good to go. Then after you get all those off, you got to pull the little bands out of the wheels. So much fun. All right, so there's our Pandem BRZ, uh, super, super cool model. Um, this is the, I want to say the fourth time that we've seen this model in premium. The first time this came out was in street tuners and in all blue. Uh, we then saw it come back in the slide street series with the uh, Falcon livery. And... This has also been done one other time. I can't think of the other premium set that this came in. Um, oh, this came in the two packs, the Target two packs. Uh, it was the BRZ and the Lexus ISF, if I remember correctly. So this would be the fourth iteration of this in a premium. Um, so super, super cool. Um, let's take a closer look. So right off the bat, you got that beautiful gritty branding there across the side. Nice teal paint. Paint looks pretty good on this. Um, you've got your aero disc wheels, like a drift style wheel. Um, super, super wide body. And then again, you've got like a wide front end for like a drift car. You've got like an indication or a hint of an intercooler back here. Um, it's all black, but you can kind of see where the bars are, but that's, you know, what would be back there. 
Um, tampoed, tampoed up headlights look really good. Uh, look like they're, well, never mind. Let me see. Yeah, it looks good. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be along this line up here, but I think that's correct. So, uh, really nice there. Uh, same Gretty branding on this side. Um, take a look at the rear. Tampoed up taillights look good. Pandem rear license plate. Get your Subaru badge there. And then you get your drift spoiler as well. This one looks to be a little bit crooked, but you can kind of bend that up and get it back into place. So not too big there. Metal base, obviously, on the premiums. Um codes or anything like that that you guys might be interested in uh i think the falcon version is probably the best version of this brz casting so far um although this is super cool to just get it in the gretty and um add to my jdm tuner collection so super sick there uh we'll move on to the dotson 240z uh dotson 240 casting has been done a few times in premium as well uh the most popular one that I can think of is the cars and donuts uh, this was a uh, yellow this was also released in yellow in the target exclusive two packs it was the yellow 240z and the yellow 400z and I'm pretty sure that this casting has been done a couple other times in premium I just can't think of them off the top of my head uh, but this one so let's see, is that a tampoed? Yeah, so you do get a, a tampo or some painted up headlights there. So that's that's super sick. Um, usually on the other premiums I have, I think this is just white. I don't think there's any tampo for the headlight. Um, nice front bumper there. Um, I don't care for the wheel choice on this particular one. Um, I don't know. I just this I'm not a fan of this wheel at all. Uh, this also this wheel also comes on the Greddy or excuse me the honda civic ef with the gretty branding um super treasure hunt this is the wheel that they use on that and this wheel also came on a recent porsche um, i think it fits well for a porsche but for other castings i don't know i just don't think it looks very good but no big deal this one is more than likely going to get wheel swapped you do have your nice black over fenders there a little bit of the paint uh so let's see yeah, I guess because the mirror is part of the casting, it's not like separate or there's any space underneath. So the paint just kind of goes up on the side of the mirror there. But um, nothing too crazy, not a huge deal. You do get some cowl detail there on the front. Um, some looks like good texture detail on the interior. Uh, we'll take a look at this rear. So this one is going to have the um, rear like long style tail light. I want to say it, maybe it's the 280Z that comes with two round tails instead. Uh, but generally on Zs, these are part of the interior, the taillights are. So once I drill this one, I'll take a look at it and see if that's the case with this. Uh, Pandem branding here on the back. Oh, so you know what? This is actually a new casting. Excuse my ignorance. Um, let's see. No, the casting's from 2016, or at least the base is. I guess they've just painted the over fenders black to give it like a pandem wide body, um, you know, type of feel. Um, but yeah, so Gretty license plate, pretty cool there. Exhaust, not great detail on that, but not a huge deal. And then, of course, like I was mentioning earlier, your mirrors are part of the casting. So did a pretty good job on this one. Minus the wheels, I think this is actually pretty cool. Um, this will get wheel swapped, so once I do, I'll bring it back onto the channel, show you guys what wheels I decided to go with. And then last up, at least for the cars, is the Nissan Drift Maxima. Um, when this casting came out as a mainline, I was super hyped, super, super hyped, uh, like really excited. So once it dropped, there was no um, detailed taillights and there wasn't any detailed headlights. So I'm really happy to see this one come back in premium. Um, super sick. I think it's a dope concept. Uh, again, I don't think these wheels uh, particularly match this model. So this one will probably get wheel swapped as well. And I could also see myself slamming this one since it is a drift car. Uh, but taking a look at the side, you got your large Gretty branding here down the side. Um, your famous Gretty colors with the blue, the teal, and the orange. And uh, Nissan branding back here see what that says 
looks like a shock manufacturer. I can't really make out who it's supposed to be. But yeah, looks like whatever shocks or struts they used on this car. Um, some more branding there on the back. Interesting that you don't get a license plate on the Maxima. A uh, little bit of a rear diffuser built in there, so that's pretty sick. Um, paint not real good underneath the rear, um, I guess, rear window visor, if that's what you want to call it. Um, also, you do not get a uh, windshield wiper or anything back here. The one thing that does kind of as like kind of a downer on this is the the metal post for the rear rivet um, does go through the center of the car. So unfortunately, side or front or rear, you can see that pretty clearly. Um, but no big deal. I mean, it is what it is. They got to get it together. So let's take a look at the front. You got some nice tampoed up headlights with your yellow fog lights in the middle. Nissan branding there, your grill in the middle, some fog lights down here, and a nice front splitter on this one as well. Mirrors are also built into the casting. And then um, they did remain with the open engine cover on this, so that's really sick. So once you were to, if you were to drill this and do a wheel swap, you could take this interior engine and paint this up just to make it look a lot better. And then, of course, that's going to show once the casting is put back together. So super, super sick on that. Um, really love this casting. Can't wait to see them do some more um, different colors of this and just to see what else they come out with. So, And last but not least, on the box sets, you get a, a hauler as well. So this is the Fleet Street hauler. We saw this first, I believe, in the Fleet Street uh, di box diorama, which came with the EG, Nissan Sentra, and... Let's see what was in that EG Nissan Sentra. Man, don't make me lie. I can't think of what the last car was, but uh, there is another transport that's similar to this. The difference being that the Fleet Street did come with tires up top, whereas the other one has a tire rack, but it's empty. Uh, but they're basically the same cab design and same bed design. This one does get 12 millimeter six spokes, like some Volks there, so that's sick. You get some uh, amber side markers painted up there. Um, bottom, nothing too crazy. Some decent exhaust detail here into your muffler and out. So pretty cool there. Uh, nice red tampoed up tail lights. Um, same si uh, amber side markers on this side. Gretty branding there. And we'll take a look at the front. And then you got your orange uh, fogs and headlights down here. Some venting, other venting here in the middle. And then you do get some windshield wipers. Um, you also get some amber markers up at the top and then your uh, roof kind of uh, arrow there. So um, all in all, super sick. Uh, no comparisons really with the cars in the back. I just kind of brought them out as a background piece uh, because the your other famous JDM tuners in HKS and uh, Advan. Um, my HKSs I have swapped and lowered. So this is the... Uh, HKS boxed ID um, this one is not slammed but it is lowered so I swapped this with a white five spoke uh, lowered it up good roller all around um, super sick on this one really really happy love that car uh, my other one is the R33 so this one just came out not too long ago in the two pack uh, again this one slammed uh, multi-spoke white wheels full roller on this um, base has been shaved quite a bit on the, at least the front and the exhaust part there to get that to clear and roll. Uh, but yeah, all in all, this one's super dope. Uh, again, full roller on both sides. So super sick there. And last up is the HKS R32. We've seen this twice, once in the car culture series as a solo, and then also in the two pack with, uh, an HKS, um, support van. So Again, this one is slammed out, a little bit of that wheel and tire missing and tucking there, uh, but full roller, no issues there. And then same with this side, full roller. Uh, white six spoke with a polished lip on there. I thought that was closest to the uh, wheel that they used on the actual car, so I decided to go with that. And last but not least, I'll show you guys the other two box sets that I did customs on. Um, these are pretty sick, at least for me, I, I was pretty hyped to do this so um first one up this is the nissan box set that the white three um gtrs the r32 33 and 34s came in and so what i did was i took it and i made it into a nismo box set 
So we have the Nismo hauler from the R34, and then I have the Nismo R32, R33, R34. Uh, my 32 and 34 came in the Target 2 packs, and then of course the R33 Nismo was in the Boulevard series. Uh, I believe that's like car number two or number three. It's like early. It was definitely the first series or first set of the Boulevard series. So um, just a little custom that I put together there. Um, saved my packaging, made opened up those cars, put them in. So just thought that was kind of cool. And then I did another one a little bit down the road uh, from another Nissan box set that I had. This one has all of the Liberty Walk silhouettes in there. So I have the Silhouette R30, the Liberty Walk Silhouette R34, and a Liberty Walk Silhouette R35. Uh, the R35 is actually a Mini GT. I'm going to be pulling this one out and swapping it with another Hot Wheels. Um, I'm kind of like a OCD like that. So if it's Hot Wheels branded, then I kind of want all Hot Wheels in there. But at the time that I made this, that was the only other car that matched. But as you can see, the reds are different. So, And then the hauler on this one comes out of the... Uh, Skyline um, R34 Liberty Walk Motul uh, Transport. So um, all in all, super dope. Love those two box sets. And uh, maybe just give you guys some ideas of what you can do with your box sets and other cars and stuff. I'll be saving this Gretty one to possibly make another custom down the road. So um, there you have it, man. That's our review for today. Um, really impressed with this box set. I'm super happy to add some Gretty cars because I don't have a lot. So all in all, really, really cool. Um, couple repeats there, but I'm happy to see that new uh, Nissan Maxima drift wagon in a premium casting. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Much appreciated. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Uh, drop a comment down below what you thought about this box set. Um, if you were looking for it or if you are looking for it, have you found it yet? What you thought about it, etc.? Uh, don't forget to hit that. Don't forget to share and then subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We got some more stuff coming up. I have. Uh, I'm waiting on one more mail call and then I'm gonna do a really epic video with three pieces that we're gonna open. So stay tuned for that. That will be upcoming. And then we got a couple more things that we'll open up and uh, review and show off uh, later in the week. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Hope everybody has a great start to your week. Uh, be safe out there. Good luck on any hunting or anything like that. And we will catch you guys on the next one. One love.